Hello and welcome back everybody, Total Eclipse here with our 10th Fan Factory Friday episode and straight off the bat I'm going to have to apologise as I haven't been able to find the creator of this map on any of my files. So if it's your map, let me know in a private message so I can add you to this video's page. Now with that embarrassment out of the way, we start off with a drop into the centralised storage facility located right next to the player hub. Now from up here, we can take the whole storage facility into view. Now I love the military-esque appeal with the outposts dotted around the outside. It's a really nice addition which you'll see present throughout which nicely ties the map under one theme. Now next up we have the circular tower which is an awesome monument and viewpoint whilst doubling up as a radio tower and a makeshift launch pad. Now from up here we can also see the large main factory which looks gorgeous at sunset. Now inside it we have multiple buses where just about everything you could possibly need gets fed into colour coordinated manufacturers. Now whilst on the subject of the bus, I love how spacious this area is. I always find it, I personally try to cram as much into a space as possible. But this is quite the opposite and has pretty much everything you need with the exception of harmful items which we'll move on to shortly. Now as you can see here, the multitude of coloured machines resemble each manufactured item which then gets pulled into the conveyor bus. Now moving on, from the top of the factory we have a large train station, although as of this moment I can't see the point in this as the train just takes you up to the top of the bus, however I presume that this will eventually be a fully working train system allowing players to move freely across the map at speed and possibly for the transportation of items should you need it. Now from the top of the conveyor bus we have the option to travel down different paths the first taking us to the original fuel power plant system which you can see follows the same militaristic outpost style Now moving on from here we have several smaller resource mining areas and after a long haul to the other side of the map we find ourselves staring at this beautiful hexagonal nuclear power plant system and I feel at this point we should really all just marvel at the iconic structure. Now this obviously provides more than enough power for this whole base and is connected to another large factory which produces all of the non-lethal parts of the nuclear fuel rods which are then passed over to the nuclear power plant. Now in the centre of the hexagon there's also a nice little nod to the power plants with some power slugs, a nice little addition there. Underneath are a series of other assemblers and manufacturers which are fed by the uranium ore safely away from prying eyes which allow each power plant to be fueled safely automated from a distance. Now checking out the inside of the power plant factory you can see it's very similar to the previous factory with it being spacious just without the colour coordination this time. Now I should also point out that the manufacturing part of the factory is quite tightly packed together regardless of how spacious the rest of the factory is. And from this point, we can actually see where the uranium ore is received from. 
which is from the dreaded uranium spider cave. Now finishing off, we return back to the main base, which is much easier to return to with all the conveyors leading to it. And all in all, this is a lovely factory, which thanks to the militaristic look, spacious factories and gorgeous uranium power plant really do stand out. Now if you did like this factory be sure to let the creator know by hitting the thumbs up icon and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe and if you want your feet and if you want you and if you want your factory featured do message me on discord and remember you guys don't fly under the influence of photo mode until next time ciao for now